This generation of the Murano has been a sales success since it was introduced in 2015. For the 2017 model year, Nissan is leaving well enough alone with only a few minor additions like standard Apple CarPlay. In this review we will cover every trim of the Murano, including the S, SV, SL, Platinum, and the new hybrid version. So let's go ahead and check it out. We would like to specially thank Glenn Nissan for allowing us to come out and film this review. If you would like to check out their dealership and massive inventory of all the Nissan models, a link to their website has been provided in the video description. All Muranos come with the standard Nissan Q fob, which is small and nice looking. You also get remote start on all but the base Murano S. Nissan's intelligent key system is standard. Just push the button on the door handle to lock and unlock. Let's go ahead and check out the Murano's powertrain. The Nissan Murano has two different powertrains. Most Muranos will be powered by this 3.5 liter V6, which produces a healthy 260 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque. A new hybrid model was introduced at the end of the 2016 model year. This model uses an interesting combination of a 2.5 liter supercharged 4-cylinder paired with an electric motor and a lithium-ion battery pack. Altogether, that will give you nearly the same power as the gas model at 250 horsepower and 243 pound feet of torque. Both versions come with Nissan's Xtronic continuously variable transmission. The Murano will simulate traditional gear changes thanks to what Nissan calls D step logic programming. Every trim of the Murano can be had in front or all wheel drive. The Murano hybrid will lead the pack when it comes to fuel economy but Nissan hasn't released the official 2017 numbers yet. The V6 version gets 21 city, 28 highway, 24 combined for both the front and all-wheel drive versions. Let's go ahead and check out the eye-catching exterior design. The Murano is one of the most dramatically styled SUVs on the market today. The first thing that's going to get your attention is the large front grille. This is Nissan's signature V-Motion grille, just supersized. The headlights also feature an aggressive design, inspired by the 370Z. 
The headlights themselves are LED only on the Platinum, though the LED daytime running lights are standard on all models. These fog lamps are standard on every trim except the base S. I will point out this camera which is one of several used for the around view monitoring system. We will check this system out later on the inside. By the way, the hybrid sees no design changes from the regular model. Only the Platinum grade will receive these 20-inch machine-finished alloy wheels. The other trims get these similar-looking 18-inch machine-finished alloy wheels. Both wheels have nice contrasting black accents. The brakes are 12.1-inch ventilated disc brakes in the front and rear. Every model gets all-season tires. Every Murano gets these mirrors with LED turn signal indicators built in. The SL and Platinum add heating and memory functions. The chrome accents are standard. The Murano is 192.8 inches long, which makes it several inches longer than rivals like the Ford Edge, Jeep Grand Cherokee, and Kia Sorento. Safety-wise, the Murano fares excellently. It has scored the best rating of good on all of the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety tests, including superior on front crash prevention. The front crash prevention system, intelligent cruise control, and predictive collision warning are available on the SL and Platinum. The side of the Murano is just as distinct as the front. It was one of the first vehicles to introduce the floating roof design cue that has been copied several times since. The rear of the Murano bears a lot of the same styling cues as the front end. The taillights also have the 370Z-like boomerang shape. They are fully LED on all models. The satin chrome bumper protector is a $125 dealer accessory. You do get two chrome tipped exhaust outlets. If you need a tow, you should probably go for the Pathfinder because the Murano's rating is only 1500 pounds. Your rear wiper and integrated spoiler. SL and Platinum Muranos get these silver roof rails, and the SV gets black ones. All Muranos have 19 gallon fuel tanks, which gets the V6 powered models a fuel range of 456 miles. The Murano Hybrid will obviously do better when its numbers are released. We will add them to the description when they become available. Let's go ahead and check out the unique and luxurious interior. The Murano has three different interior color choices. This model has graphite leather with a unique blonde wood trim, which comes standard on all models. The SL and Platinum can also opt for cashmere or mocha leather, and the two lower trim levels pick between either graphite or cashmere cloth. 
The Murano's door trim is made of soft leather and padded plastics. Only the front two windows are fully automatic. You do get two-person memory seats standard on SL and Platinum models. Blind spot warning is also standard on those same trims, but it can be had optionally on the SV. The rest of the door trim is nicely padded. The driver's seat is 8-way power adjusting with power lumbar support, and is standard on all but the base S model. SL and Platinums will get these supple real leather seats. They are perforated and you get color contrast stitching. The interior of the Murano definitely looks upscale from the moment you first get in. It feels pretty spacious in here and you have good visibility out of the front and side windows. You do pay the price for the aggressive exterior styling when it comes to rear visibility. The rear pillar is very thick and the back window is a little small. One of the highlights of the Murano's interior is this power panoramic moonroof. Unlike the Pathfinder, it's all one piece of glass which really helps open up the cabin. The material quality of the Murano is close to that of a luxury vehicle. The upper portions are hard touch plastic, but things like this leather patch covering the gauges help make it feel upscale. All of the lower dash areas are soft touch, and you have nice stitched leather all the way down here. Fit and finish is very tight. Let's go ahead and start her up. Push button start is standard equipment. This 8 inch high resolution touch screen is standard on all but the S. That model gets a smaller 7 inch display. The startup has a little bit of that Nissan VQ growl that I like. The design of the gauges are typical Nissan, which is to say simple but elegant looking. Nissan's 7 inch drive assist display is also included on every model. You can scroll through the standard affair of information like music, navigation, and fuel economy. All models have electric power steering, which is fed through this leather wrapped steering wheel. You have steering wheel mounted controls on the left for almost everything. You've got controls for audio, phone, voice, and the drive assist display. The right side has cruise controls. Your wiper stock. your automatic headlight and fog light controls. Our Platinum is the only one that gets this power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which links into the memory system. The Platinum also gets steering wheel heating. There is a good amount of storage in the Murano. Inside the center console you have lots of room. Once you remove this tray, you have a deep storage area with a 12 volt power outlet and felt lining. The armrest has a unique design itself, with wood running in between the padded portions. In front of that, you have a smaller area which is felt lined and has a USB and aux jack inside. Down here you have another little cubby, and of course you have some more door storage. Every model gets this shifter with leather, wood, and chrome trim. 
You can manually shift through seven simulated gears like this, but no model receives paddle shifters. When you shift into reverse, a standard backup camera will appear. On our model, we have Nissan's pioneering a round view monitor, which is included for SL and Platinum models. You have a traditional view and a bird's eye view of all around the vehicle. By pushing the camera button, you can change the views. Moving object detection also lights up the quadrant if something is moving. Heated and cooled seats are exclusive to the Platinum, though the SL gets just heating. They are part of the intelligent climate control system, meaning they will automatically adjust when you remotely start the vehicle. Standard on every Murano is dual zone automatic climate control. The buttons are physical, but they only light up when the vehicle is on. You've got a nice big knob for adjusting the temperature. The other buttons feel high quality. Overall, it's high tech looking but very simple to use. This 11 speaker Bose surround sound system is included on the SL and Platinum and optional on the SV. The base system has six speakers. As you can hear, this Bose system has really impressive sound quality. Surprisingly, Nissan Connect with integrated navigation is included on all but the base model. Let's go ahead and quickly check it out. First off, I'll go ahead and apologize since our model doesn't have the map card installed yet. That means I'm not going to be able to show you the navigation or the apps, but we have a specific Nissan Connect Tech Help video that covers all of the features if you'd like to check that out. The home screen has three different customizable screens. It's really similar to an Android smartphone interface and allows you to add in different widgets of your choice. Every model has Bluetooth. From here you can play, pause, and skip tracks without the use of your phone. Phone connectivity is included on every model. From here you have the standard affair of phone functions like phone book. From phone book, you can have your synced contacts, and you can search alphabetically by using the buttons on the side. Every 2017 Murano also adds standard Apple CarPlay. If you'd like to check out the Nissan Connect Tech Help video, a link is provided in the video description. On both sides of the screen are physical button duplicates for many of the functions. The right side also has useful buttons like a handy back button and a button to manually launch or change the view of the around view monitor. A single disc CD player is included on every Murano. This auto dimming rear view mirror is standard on SL and Platinum trims. It has home link garage door openers built into it. Here is your sunglass holder, if I can get it open. The front portion of the panoramic moonroof does open. One thing to keep in mind is that a traditional moonroof is not available. There is a pop-up wind buffer as well. The shade is power sliding and you can stop it at any point.
This clip is provided for a separate garage door opener. Overall, the Murano's interior is very luxurious and a solid all-arounder. It's especially impressive when you consider it starts at under 30 grand, and in the top trims it feels more like a luxury crossover. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the Murano. The materials of the Murano follow through into the rear, since you have the same leather, padding, and soft touch plastic. The rear window is power. The unique wood trim also carries over to the back. In the rear you'll find 38.7 inches of legroom and 39.8 inches of headroom. This makes it a little smaller than the Ford Edge and right along with the Grand Cherokee and Kia Sorento. The rear seats are made of the same perforated leather and are quite comfortable. Right above the vents you'll find a small storage area. These two stage heated rear seats are exclusive to the Platinum. You also have a USB port back here. Every model also has these rear vents surrounded in silver trim. The armrest is leather wrapped and has two cup holders and some storage. Like my brother mentioned in the front, this panoramic moonroof is optional on SV and up. It does take about 2 inches at the rear's headroom, but with it open I think it makes it feel more spacious. Over here you have your LED lighting, as well as an assist grip and coat hook. The headliner is also a typical Nissan. Legroom is definitely not an issue. The front seat is adjusted for my 5'8 brother, and I have tons of room to move around. Now the passenger seat is all the way back, and I still have plenty of room for my feet and legs. To sum it up, the rear is luxurious, spacious, and comfortable. A power lift gate is standard on the SL and Platinum Muranos. You can use the button or the key to open it. Once inside you'll find 32.1 cubic feet behind the second row, and 67 cubic feet with the second row folded. Compared to the competition, it is about 5 cubic feet less, but most owners will never notice that much of a difference. Please note that models equipped with the panoramic moonroof do have around 2 cubic feet less of space. To fold the second row, use these handles on each side. The seats are power return on the Platinum models. This bumper protector is a dealer accessory.
The rear of the Murano is everything anyone in this segment would ever want or need. It would be great for a family of four, or just for some added capability over a sedan. The passenger seat is comfortable, leather wrapped, and has a premium design. This 4-way power seat is standard on all but the S, which gets a manual seat. The dash is soft touch plastic, and I really like how the wood wraps around you. The vent is also trimmed in silver. The glove box is surprisingly large and is felt lined. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed this detailed look at the 2017 Nissan Murano Platinum All-Wheel Drive. Please stay tuned for the pricing information of this particular model, as well as the rest of the Murano lineup. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and come along with us next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.